The Gallery of a Mind with No Money and No Backing by Nemo The Bulk Chapter 1 Most people feel like without money and the backing of a company, how could they ever build a brand of notoriety? The real fact is that you don't need notoriety. You need value. And when you have value, you become more than noticeable. You become needed. I know firsthand what it feels like not to have both. The question is, how do you maintain? In order to stay creative, passionate, positive, and fly, everyone must do this most important thing. Pray. All the time. Make it a duty to do this every single day. Side note. If you want to be successful, don't seek success. Seek to become a person of value. Dr. Miles. Majority of companies have a little something that they call marketing dollars, which they use to promote their company or companies. Your brain is your company. You need to figure out a way for your company to help another company, and after a while, you should see some of those marketing dollars. Your brand is your art, and you should treat it as such. Your range in business should be wide. There's no such thing as too much or too little. Don't ever feel like someone with money or major success doesn't need you, because the truth is, they all do. Remember when doing business, it's not personal. There's no feelings in business. You should want to make sure you're empty when you leave this earth. Make sure you use your whole repertoire, meaning everything God blessed you with. Side note, the future belongs to those who prepare for it today, Malcolm X. Plenty of people depend on others to make them a brand, but you have to depend on yourself and put your work out there with the hopes that someone likes it and gives you a chance. You have to understand, you have all you need to become who you truly want to be. It may not happen the way you think it's going to happen, but stay consistent and it will happen. Honestly, you can become rich, but that's not what you should be reaching for. You should reach to be a true leader. Money brings power, but what you do with or without that power shows character. Business consists of character. Brands consist of character. Music consists of character. You have to be true to your character in order for people to believe in you. You can't prove something you don't live. I believe in where God is taking me so much that I quit my job and began to build for my kids and their kids and the next generation. There's no success without sacrifice or pain, and there's no business without problems. Side note, you can do anything if you have enthusiasm. Henry Ford. The en en environment. <laughs> Dang it, I missed. The Environment, Chapter 2 No matter where you're from, you are going to have challenges. You could be from the mean streets of Chicago to the corporate offices of LA. Either way, there will be, a pro there will be problems and disappointments. I would know. Coming from a family that don't have anything, let alone everything, settled for you is hard. Old friends want you to stay in the hood forever and chill. Family doesn't want to see you move on and grow. But all of these things, including old beefs that never got squashed, is all part of the plan to keep you down. But you must know that negative thoughts that nothing will ever change are terrible. I'm here to tell you that if you change your mind, you can change your circumstances. Everything you went through in the hood should prepare you for the viciousness of business and people. The streets and the corporate world, to me, are very parallel to each other. The instincts should apply to the same, just leave out the negativity and violence. Those two things will not make you successful. As a sophomore in high school, I had to pick a major. Of course, for a person like myself, I picked business. This had me bored out of my mind after about a month. I politely raised my hand one day to ask the teacher, did he have a business of his own? The answer was no. So how could we learn business from a person that didn't have one? No shade, just truth. Long story short, I transferred to a radio and television major with a teacher that was currently on the radio doing voiceovers for commercials. This was something I could actually learn from. You trust your natural instincts is what I'm saying. Growing up, I felt there, were, there was no way for me to expand my horizon without being criticized for wanting more for myself and my family. That's a crazy way to feel, but you'd be surprised how many people feel like that that live in the hood. 
Your environment should never determine your outcome, though. I personally could have lived in a box and still would be confident enough to thrive. That's called faith. When you have faith in the Lord and yourself, you personally feel no one can stop you. Living in certain conditions should make you become very aware of your surroundings and very selective of your circle. I used to think your circle was based on people you kick it with, but I later learned it should be only based on people you can build with. You can chill with anybody. The ones you can build with make your circle. My biggest problem growing up in Chicago was not having any visuals or influencers to be great if it wasn't on television. My advice to anyone that's in a place of negativity is to create your positive by creating a vision board. I used to think these things were corny and didn't work, but trust me, it does. If you decide to create one, it could be helpfully, helpful in visualizing the possibility of your future. The crabs in the barrel, quote unquote, mentality is fierce in society. Rid yourself of people that don't want to see you happy or succeed. If you're the smartest person in your, in your circle, get out. There's no growth there. If you want to have all the money, you need to relocate, create, make moves, buy inventory, invest, etc. It will never happen. Don't move by your pockets. Move by your faith. Every move I make is based on faith and sometimes just faith alone. So many people think I always know what I'm doing when I do it. But to tell you the truth, I don't. Your environment is critical for a person with dreams and ambition. But to make you the best, sometimes God will put you in those environments to not only show the world your strength, but to show you. The Competition, Chapter 3 I know being the one wanting to win it all, you think everyone is competition. Find a mirror, look at yourself very close. That's your only competition. Always look at yourself as competition because if you feel you're great, then your greatest inspiration should be what you accomplished last, not what someone else is doing in their life. Look at it like basketball. If you keep worrying about who's trying to defend you, your game will be off. Only worry about you and the hoop. The object is to score, not worry about who's defending you. Competition can be a tricky thing. I used to feel everyone was my competition in school. Ball, getting girls, rapping, dressing, I mean everything and everybody. When I was in school, we would have plenty of pop quizzes. I always wanted to be the first one done. I couldn't understand why at a certain point I kept failing the test. Later on in life, the true test was learning how to be my own competition. I spent a lot of time looking around at other students so much that I was putting down the wrong answers just to get finished. I guess dealing with competi co competitiveness in that way made me become my own worst enemy. So I started becoming more innovative and less proactive, but that meant I was still trying to control the situation or outcome. If you're innovative, you naturally become more worried about building things, not managing them. One person can create the building, but a thousand people can manage it. Let that sink in. Competition is stiff once you put yourself into it. So try your best to stay away from competing with others. People out here nowadays will do anything, and I mean anything, for success. It's almost impossible to compete with that when you have morals and truly know your self-worth. There's no competition when you're building your brand, or at least to me that's how it seems. If you're an artist, you're going to think and move like an artist, which means all you care about is your art and nothing else. Waiting on other brands to represent you and build for you? If you think like a brand, you're going to want to build everything yourself, no matter how broke you are, no matter who's vouching for you. If you think that way, your comp competition is none. Pushing the Envelope, Chapter 4 What does PTE even mean? Well, it means to push beyond the normal limit, to push well past what the standard is. This can be very scary to some people that don't have resources or backing. It should also be encouraging to those same people. Personally, I try to always push the culture itself forward because if we're looking for things to last, we as people have to expand what already exists to be bigger, brighter, and create more space for the culture to grow. 
This won't be easy to do with no money. So be very creative. Learn how to service people before you ask for service or help. When you create things, not only for yourself, people have no problem helping you out when you need it. There are, there are some things I was blessed to learn because of the struggle. Previously, I always felt it was hard to get ahead in music or just in life, period. It's often hard because you want major support from the world and you never figured out a real way to help the world. You truly have to become the change you want to see, not, to see, not sit and complain about it, which as a human, we often find ourselves doing. PTE is born when you have enough empathy for the next person. Martin Luther King never really seen his dream, but the PTE for those behind him and the future generation, empathy is something that causes change, awareness, and creation, all in which PTE should be in the mix. People become controlled by the same old mentality. A hamster will turn a wheel in a cage every day until you create something else for the ha that, that hamster to do. It's always been up to you to push change, not someone else. Money makes people sometimes scared or feel fearful to PTE. Remember, my money is money. They won't stop printing it because you PTE. Crazy thing is, people will adapt to what you're PTE for. You can become an innovator instead of a number of the same people that are satisfied at normality. Many will stop pushing when others push them back to the normal. PTE means also pushing yourself when no one believes in you. I'm an artist that loves to create art like the next, but I'd also rather create the gallery to exhibit that art. This shows difference of the one who the world influences and the other that influences the world. Influence the world. We need you out here. We need more like-minded people to forward the world, not just live in it. You, also have to, you often have to find the thing that brothers good-spirited people so much that you want to prevent it from happening to other good people for years to come. That's PTE. My last album, Nemo, quote-unquote, I sold for 400 not because I wanted the money, but to push the effort to know your worth. Know that your art can be priceless. I'm all about pushing the limits. I never want anything to be normal about me, and you shouldn't either. Vision is what's important to PTE. -E -P -E. You have to visualize it to complete it, or to even understand where to start. Positivity works the mind. The more positive thoughts you have, the more positive things happen. With any of this, do you need money or backing to do? Start now. Start exactly where you're at in life, good or bad. If you think like me, then you know we can't afford to sit around and be normal, but we can afford change in the way we spend our 24 hours. Everybody get the same hours. It depends on how you use that counts. All your PTE may take time. It may take days, weeks, months, even years, but trust me, I think it's worth it. More than anything, it's worth it for the kids. Push. The Grateful Period, Chapter 5. This period should always be big in your life. You have to be grateful in order to see greatness. Being grateful in business should be held in the same regard. If you ever have a problem being grateful in business, I have something that you should take into consideration. The solution for being grateful in business is called the baseball diamond field. I know you're thinking, what does this have to do with being grateful? Well, let me explain. It's pretty simple. Think ba baseball. In baseball, you get three strikes and you're out. But realistically, you can get as many strikes as you want. But think just three. Anything positive that happens in business, big or small, you should consider that a base hit. Never swing for the fences right off bat. Fill your bases up, and when the time is right, go for the home run. This basically means you should always be grateful about something in business, big or small. If you keep that simple thing in your mind, you will never feel like you failed at anything. I know it seems silly and useless, but try it and it should change your being grateful in business perspective.
And if that doesn't work, there's always prayer. I love you and believe in you. If you haven't heard it in a while or at all, stay positive, stay driven, and most importantly, stay grateful. Now you have the tools to go out in the world and build your very own gallery. The end. Thank you for listening to the gallery book, The Mind of No Money and No Backing. I'm Jamie Blunt. God bless.